I wanted to talk about the second principle of hermetics. It's the law of correspondence. And what that means, I'm going to explain to you guys. So the law of correspondence, as above, so below, so below, as above, is a reference to the parallel worlds between the ether and the physical 3D world. You can look at the spirit world or the ether as the 5D. So you can have a 5D consciousness, but still be in the 3D world. So on Earth, there's a thing called free will. Everybody has it. And then there's also your destiny or your divine plan. So all thoughts exist in the ether. So the more you think about something, the more it starts to form in the fog of the ether in the 5D. In 5D, your manifestations are instantaneous in the spirit world, but they take a while depending on how many things have to line up can take a while to show up in your 3D world. So, you know, basically what it's saying is the same rules and laws apply in the 5D as the 3D. And remember, what you think about the most is what you get. And you only receive what you believe that you're worthy of receiving. That also includes subconscious programming. 95% of our subconscious, 95% of our decisions are made on autopilot by our subconscious. Stuff like, you know, your heart beating, me being able to walk while I'm shooting this video and not fall down, being able to look around, you know, multitasking. It's how people get good at sports and tennis and things like that. So, the idea is with the Hermetic Principles is that once you learn them, then you have a rule set for the game of life, which is what everybody wants. You know, once you get to a point where you're in detachment and you have good discernment, it boils down to creating what you want. It's really about getting more of the thoughts that you want are the only thoughts that you're thinking about. So my Uncle T had a great quote. He said one time, everything that you needed to learn, you learned in kindergarten. Do what you love, keep your vibration high, treat people kindly, follow the golden rule, be honest, do something that you love for your work. And the more value that you provide to your fellow human beings, the more you'll be rewarded for all the stuff that you do. So let's apply this rule because knowledge is only knowledge until you apply it. Once you apply knowledge and you start to teach others, that's where knowledge turns into wisdom and you start improving your life. So even in sales and marketing, remember everything you do in your life is a sale. Whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, a divorce, a business, a church, a bank, whatever it is, everything is a business. Everything is either a service or a product. You either do something for somebody or you provide a product for somebody. Unfortunately, what happens is we have five senses that you can look at as a tape recorder. And these things record 24 hours a day all the time. And there's no way to turn them off. So prayer beads, there's 108 of those. And each time that they flip a bead, they say a mantra or a prayer. Mantras and prayers are the same thing. So what ends up happening is, after saying that over and over 108 times, Repetition is how you replace a limiting belief with an affirmative belief. Now the hard part is, and this is where I get into a lot of technology that I use, being a 
social media manager and a webmaster and web developer for a couple commercial websites. You have to understand that you don't know what's in your subconscious mind. So the programs that are running, even if you don't like them, you're not really sure when you obtain those, when those got wired in, and it's gonna take repetition to replace those. Now, you can put or install a new non-limiting belief or an affirming belief and still have a negative belief or a limiting belief still in there. So let me give you a little applicable mind hack. Imagine yourself with a GoPro duct tape to your forehead during your day. So you go through your day, like imagine if my camera right now was reversed. And everything that I'm looking around here in the woods is a reflection of my subconscious belief system. Imagine yourself as you're walking around, you're inside a giant 10 foot in diameter bubble. And that bubble is reality and the inside of the bubble is a mirror. And so like right now, if I show you guys the woods, that's what I'm looking at when I'm walking around. So this thought experiment, what you do is go through your day. You don't have to tape anything to your forehead and video it, but realize go through a whole day from the second that you get up until you go to bed and realize that everything that happens in that day is a reflection of the reality you create from the beliefs that you have in your conscious and subconscious mind. So if you went and watched, let's say you did this today and you videoed everything, and then tomorrow you watch this and you watched it on a TV screen and every time there was something that wasn't what you would consider your perfect day, every time that happens, you circle it and you write it down. Or during your day, if something happens and it makes you feel anything else other than wonderful, write it down. Then once you've done this for a while, Everything that you don't like is being attracted to you because of the wiring of your brain and the beliefs. Remember, emotions are the language of the ether, the zero point, dark matter, whatever they want to call it, the spirit world. Some of those beliefs you're not even gonna know what they are. And that's where it comes in handy to use some tech to go in. They have a lot of tech that can go in and wash out limiting beliefs that you aren't aware of. So use your day as an analytical tool to know what's in your mind, your conscious mind, your subconscious mind. Or you can think of it like this. Everything that you see is the reality that you live in and your reality that you live in is based on the radio frequency that you tune into. And the radio frequency that you tune into, which determines the reality that you live in, that frequency is determined by the compilation or as a whole, all of the beliefs that you have and that you hold. So if there's a few things in your day that you don't like, then you have a few limiting beliefs. In other words, use your day and everything that you see as a reflection, as a tool to find the hidden limiting beliefs that you don't know exist. It's a great tool because no therapist or anybody else out there can go into the Akashic record or your subconscious mind, realize that the subconscious mind, it isn't in your body. The fact is, is that people don't move. Nothing moves. 
Let me give you an example. Here's my hand. I take my hand, I move it over here. I'm not really moving my hand. What's happening is, is that my focus and intention on what we call our bodies collapses the infinite, infinite number of possibilities in the quantum field and creates my hand in a new space as I move it. Very similar to a movie screen. The stuff on the screen moves because the colors change on the screen. There's actually nothing moving. Real life is like that. That's why when people such as myself or, you know, it can be a number of things, but my two near-death experiences, you get a huge 50 milligram dose of DMT when you have a near-death experience. Dimethyltryptyline is known as the God molecule. What it does is it helps to flush everything out that's a limiting belief and sink the hemispheres of your brain. Our current genetically modified foods and all kinds of other stuff that's not so good for us causes us to calcify our pineal gland, which is the end of the antenna that picks up the frequency of what we call our soul. And the expression of that soul is called a personality. And the personality doesn't necessarily match what your soul is. If it did, you would be what people call in alignment. Anyway, I'll put a link to some tools that I use underneath this video. Myself being a tech guy, you know, I didn't want to spend 10 years as a Buddhist monk to get what I wanted. So what I did is I merged spirituality and science and found tech that would help you erase or help me erase limiting beliefs in the least amount of time and create the manifestation that I want, the life that I love. I hope you guys are having a great new year. It's New Year's Day. It's Cole with barbedwiredigital8.com. Be blessed. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.